Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. I did the altcoins first today, so you had a few altcoin updates, VeChain, IOTA, Koti, and so on. And uh, now we come to the final one, which is the Cardano update. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for that. So we're going to take a look at what the Cardano price uh, has been doing and also at the Bitcoin chart. Briefly, Bitcoin isn't moving at all at the moment, but we take a look at what that means. Before we start again, thanks again for all the comments, all the likes. Really appreciate it. 10,000 subscribers now. So I think I'll do a, a live stream on the weekend. We need to see how I can fit that in. Um, and also a few of you guys had the comments um, question about how the intro, what the name of the intro music actually is. And this is basically it. I use a, I use a software for, um, called Placeit to create the intro video and they have the the music, but um, it's actually called Ma Michael Rami C. Uh, but the title is actually Electric Fence. You can see it here. You can find it on YouTube, can listen to it. There's a long version. So whoever likes the intro music, please um, check it out and listen in. So let's take a look at Bitcoin. Um, we can see that Bitcoin is on the way down in a down uh, a descending channel at the moment. And we captured that earlier today. Maybe let's start with the daily very briefly if we can see anything there. Um, but I can't really see anything new on the daily. So, however, what we can see here is that, yeah, we are currently just seem to be potentially heading towards that 50 line of the RSI on the daily. You know, the 50 line is basically dividing the bullish, which is above 50 and the bearish range, which is below 50. So we're currently slightly bullish on the RSI on the daily. MACD seems to be that on the MACD, we might be doing a bullish cross in the next few days. Um, I'm saying that because the MACD histogram seems to head towards the zero line and we might see some uh, green movement there very soon. What we can see here on the four hour chart, or maybe let's just go back to the hourly chart, is that we are in a descending channel as already mentioned. Now, is that good or bad? Well, the descending channel in itself is obviously a downtrend, but only a, um, yeah, a very short term one, but if we can have it or if we do have it together in such a formation where you had a long uptrend here, you can see that clearly here where we started down here at 44,000 very strongly. We had a we had a strong move to the downside. As you can see here, you can see that lower wick actually, um, or was it actually a candle? Um, yeah, I think it was actually a candle, but we bounced off it. And then we had after that, that strong move to the upside here, where we started at 44,000 all the way up to 48,000, pretty much 400. And since then we've been trading, first of all, it looked like a broadening triangle, but it's now actually a descending channel. That is actually a, um, a pretty much textbook like um, bull flag. Yeah, I would call that bull flag. We are still in a long-term uptrend anyway, in a higher time frame. So that could really be a bull flag, which makes me personally think that we might be um, yeah, moving to the upside from here. And the target I gave you that this morning, I think for that would be certainly around the 52,500 level. Um, so let's see how that will play out. And that would be certainly very interesting if we move to the upside. If we move to the downside, um, well, it is important actually for us. I think a breakout is actually imminent for that. The reason I say that is because we are currently holding that 47,200 level. That is a key level. Below the 47,200, we are actually breaking back into this sort of channel um, after that break flash crash that we had, we trade in this channel. Um, if we break below the 47,200 again, then we will get back into this channel. I think we wanna avoid that. I don't think it would be, to be honest, that bad necessarily because we would still be, if we continue to trade in that descending channel, we would still be in that bull flag and then potentially break out. But I think it won't take long and we will break out and hopefully to the upside. That's what I currently think with Cardano <laughs> crabbing, crabbing along, to be honest. And uh, very, uh, yeah, I don't want to say disappointing, but it's so boring at the moment to, to watch the Cardano chart. I know how a lot of you guys are feeling. This is the four hour chart for Cardano. We can still see the same formation that we've been tracking for the last few um, days, actually. This um, head and shoulders pattern, which if we go down to the neckline at 230 could actually play out and then we could drop down to two dollars at the moment we are still above that support line here at 235 so um, it is still a descending triangle we're currently trading in it's so boring to watch i know what you guys think so i won't spend a lot of time on it 
we need to see how that plays out but we are certainly you know very very a, a breakout is very imminent and that breakout because we are trading in that apex whenever we come into an apex and you know that from from previous moves um here we had a breakout here when we moved into the apex of that triangle breakout to the upside we had an apex when we uh, we moved into the apex of that ascending triangle breakout to the upside so um again it could still be in a breakout to the upside as well i still think it could rather be a breakout to the downside because this is now a descending triangle this one was a metrical triangle this was one this one was an ascending one so bullish this was also trend continuation so for me because we are in a you know higher time frame uptrend that sort of for me was more to the upside as well but now because it's a descending triangle where the price can't really push away anymore from that horizontal support line the sellers really don't allow the buyers to push the price away so i think a breakout is imminent in my opinion to the downside that could lead us to 230 why do i say that because that descending triangle in my opinion you could really argue it started here that is then that length of that um of that candle would then be the target that would pretty much take you to um sorry not to 30 it would take you to 220 but also taking that into account we are in that head and shoulders pattern the target would lie somewhere around two dollars so that's currently what i think i think it's rather bearish at the moment for cardano we also on the rsi on the hourly a uh, four hour chart here on the um in the bearish range i can't really see a bullish divergence here macd is in the red and we can get one last view into the uh, daily uh, so in the one hour time frame and again here what we can see though is that um, the rsi is at least moving sideways not down uh, whereas the price is moving down so it just shows that the downtrend has slowed down yeah um from here from that beginning of that downtrend here you can see that it's now moving sideways it's not moving down anymore but again that is possibly because we are, we are really can't get away from that um support level anymore we are in that descending triangle again and i think that rather shows that is really that breakout pattern that always happens regularly happens before a breakout to the downside that the sellers or the buyers in this case can't push the price away from that level anymore so that indicates to me that we are up for a move to the downside i would be happy if we go up don't get me wrong and medium term anyway i'm very bullish on cardano but i did say yesterday when we looked at the Elliott wave method that i think we could go down once more to two dollars or even 180 and from there then we could move to new highs of uh, around 450 at least um, in the next few months so exciting times even though it looks extremely boring on the chart i think something big is coming here for cardano and to be honest i'd rather see moves to the down or the upside than just this sideways movement which we had cardano is very indecisive we had it now a few times that we've really just been moving sideways and not much has happened so it's quite boring times to be honest for cardano holders but that will change sooner than you think and i uh, hope you liked that video if you liked it please smash the like button if you want to learn about technical analysis please check out my second channel you can find a link in the description there i teach about ta every day and um, yeah please give me a comment as well for the algorithm and then see you in the next video bye bye